Welcome back to the Mortgage Update with Dan Frio. I, of course, am Dan Frio, and we're going to continue on um, the 10 most frequently asked questions by home buyers. So we started out with, do I qualify? What credit scores do I need? And how much of a down payment do I need? So the next thing is going to be, what's my mortgage rate? That is a wide open question. And the best thing I can say is if you call someone and you say, you know, I, I, I want an FHA loan, what's my rate? And they tell you a rate, that's probably not going to be your rate. Please be skeptical. They either are just trying to sell you, they're giving you the, the most aggressive rate they have, meaning the best rate they have to kind of tie you, pull you in, or they're just guessing. And here's what I mean by that. Mortgage rates are, they're all over the board. And I like to say they're created through a, like an a la carte system. And what I mean by a la carte, let's say you go out to a, a restaurant and you order a steak. And that is, that's one item on the, uh, on the, on the list of your, what you're paying. Then you say, you know what? I want a salad. That's another line item. I want a baked potato. That's another item. And I want, you know, a drink. That's another item. All these things add up to your total payment. With mortgages, kind of the same thing runs true. And here's kind of the breakdown. I'll I'll go through just the top few um, that add add or subtract from your mortgage rate. So let's say the going rate today is, I'm just going to say five. Well, there's a lot of adjustments to that. Okay, and those adjustments are, what is your credit score? That's probably one of the biggest adjustments in the in the credit report or credit uh, rate or mortgage rates. What kind of property is it? Is it a condo, a single family home, a two to four unit, a townhouse? What kind of property is it? How much money are you putting down? So what is your down payment? What term do you want? That's another one. Um, it, it, loan amount even. I have lenders that will not do loans under 100000 So all these factor into that 5%. So let's say you know condos get hit. Uh, they might get hit 0.25 in the rate. So now your rate went from 5 to 5 and a quarter. Let's say you, have a, you need an $80,000 loan. That might ha- come with a hit of 0.125. Let's say you're going to put down 5%, not 10%. That might be another adjustment to it. So when you're all said and done, you might have 1% in total adjustments. So when you started out and you called in and the person said, you know, my rate's five. Well, now you're, in start, now you're at six. So that person should take the time and give you the respect of saying, you know what? Can I get five minutes of your time? Give me the infra- information I need so I can come back with you and give you an accurate mortgage rate. So that's what I would highly suggest you do. So hopefully if you need a mortgage, you please call me. Um, If you do call someone else and they give you that rate, be skeptical. Don't be wowed on that rate because I can almost guarantee you when it's all said and done, you're not going to get that rate. So that's what rate should you get. So that's kind of a breakdown on how mortgage rates work. So that's one area you really need to shop shop around for because every lender has a different rate. Okay. The next thing is, how much can I afford? Hate that question because... My goal isn't to to put you into the maximum mortgage payment that you can get, which a lot of people did when the world crashed, is I come back usually and say, you know, what are you paying now? I'm paying fifteen hundred bucks, twelve hundred bucks. Is that comfortable? Yeah, it's real comfortable. Okay. Can you afford a little bit more? Yeah, maybe a couple hundred bucks. Okay. So let's look at see if I can get you to qualify for sixteen, seventeen hundred bucks. Not, you know what, you can qualify for a three thousand dollar payment. But you know what? You got two kids in college. You have two car payments. Your credit cards are maxed out. You'll never afford it. You can on paper during this process or or the loan guidelines, but that's not how I want to work it. I want to say, you know what? You're comfortable with this payment. Now, make sure that payment's realistic because I'll, I'll have clients that will call and say, you know what? I, I'm, I'm paying 1000 bucks now, and that's kind of high. You know, I want something for $800. bucks. Well, that's hard. Um, but again, how much can you afford? Basically, I'll ask you, I'll turn the tables. What are you comfortable with? And we'll back in those numbers. That number might come back with a, with a home of value that's good for you, or you might have to stretch a little bit. Um, but I want you to stretch, but still be affordable. Uh, so you're not mortgage poor. So that's how much can I afford? 
How much will my mortgage payment be? Great question. Very hard to to figure out. Here's what I mean. Let's say, Dan, I want a $200,000 home. Okay, we know that. $200,000. I'm going to put 5% down. So, okay, I know you want a $200,000 loan with 5% down. I know with all the work I did on this thing, the rate is going to be 4.875. So I plug that rate in. We're going to do a 30-year term. I plug that in. How much are your real estate taxes? I don't know. I never picked out a house yet. Okay, the taxes could be three grand a year, could be six grand a year, could be eight grand a year. Okay, the difference can be three to four hundred dollars a month variance in what that mortgage payment's going to be. So you need really, I have all the components of the payment, how to figure out a payment for you. What I don't want to guess at is the real estate taxes. So I'm going to help you figure this out on your own. So the best way I can do that is go to my website, which is 1160mortgage.com. On every page, there's a mortgage calculator. So on the right of every screen, you're going to see a mortgage calculator. It's actually a calculator. You have to click the mortgage tab. Okay. It's going to ask you what the purchase price is, what your down payment is, what the rate is. And again, I'll, I'll let you know the rate. I'll let you know the term. It's going to be a 30 year term. It's, then it's going to ask you, how much are your real estate taxes? So now we have to plug in that number. So you plug in that number. You, you go through and you, you, with your realtor or whomever you're working with, you go in and figure out, I like these properties. You plug in the real estate taxes for that property in that, in that category. You, and it's also going to, ask, going to ask you what the homeowner's insurance is. You might, to be real precise, what you might want to do is call in your real estate agent saying, if I buy a $200,000 house in this area, w- w- give me a ballpark of what my uh, homeowner's insurance is going to be. You plug that in, and then also it's going to ask you for a PMI ratio. I can give that to you. You plug that in, you hit click, it'll calculate, it'll cl- cl- calculate that payment to the penny for you. But again, The biggest component there that I don't know is what your real estate taxes are going to be. So that's the biggest piece of this puzzle I don't know. I know all the other facets, but I don't want to be wrong by the tune of two, three, four hundred dollars a month because I don't know your taxes. So go to my website, 1160mortgage.com, and there's a mortgage calculator on every page to help you with that payment. Okay? So next question, what type of mortgage should I get? This is where I come into play. I will kind of walk you through what do you qualify for? So meaning, are you a veteran? No, well, we can't get a VA loan. The, the basic loan structures are FHA, VA, USDA, and conventional financing. So are you a veteran? No, scrap it. Are you buying in a rural area? No, scrap USDA. So now you have FHA and conventional. What is your credit score? It's a 590. Can't go conventional. Now you're down to FHA. So I can help walk you through, you know, which program fits you. Now, let's say you have a 680 credit score. You might qualify now for FHA and conventional. We'll run the numbers and say, what works best for you? What makes the most financial sense in this? And I'll give you both options. Here's option A. Here's option B. Which one do you think? Here's what I think. But you don't have to go that route. You're the boss. But I'll tell you, I'll give you my educated decision on what I think. Okay, next question. Do I need PMI? Unless you put down 20%, you probably do. Um, Why I mean probably, VA loans do not require PMI, and they do 100% financing. FHA, yes, you will have it even if you put down 50%. Believe it or not, most people don't realize that. All FHA loans require no matter what PMI. It's either for 11 years or or 30 years. Um, so unless you're putting down 20%, you, most cases you have PMI unless you're getting a VA loan. All right. What are my closing costs? I can talk about this for two days. Shop, 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 shop. What I mean by that is most lenders, the average closing costs in Illinois is about 2,200 to $3,000 in, I'll say fees that you most likely can avoid. And I have a lot of clients that will go with one of the big banks or one of the big bankers that you see. And I, as soon as they come back to me, I'm like, oh, sweet, send me their quote to you. Here's the one thing I can tell you. Please don't be tricked by, well, the only out-of-pocket 
out of pocket fee you have is the appraisal for four hundred dollars. That's not what I asked. What are the all the costs that I have to pay? Even if it's not out of pocket, you'd be you'd be surprised. It'll run into the thousands. Um, and then how long will this process take? Normally, it'll take thirty days. It can get, it can go a little bit quicker or it can go a little bit longer. Doesn't matter if it's an FHA or conventional financing. It basically depends on what time of year it is, how busy everybody is, and how quickly you respond to all the information that we ask of you. So those are the top 10 frequently asked questions by home buyers. I hope you got a lot out of this. If I can help you, which I hope I can, please reach out to me. I'd love to talk to you and try to help you know guide you down the road to home ownership. Um, you can reach me personally at 630 338 1160. You can find me on the web at 1160mortgage.com. Also, please check out my YouTube channel. You can check me out on Facebook, LinkedIn, every any which way you want to check out and see my reviews, my ratings, anything about me. It's all on the web. So I want to thank you again for tuning in tonight. Um, please come back again tomorrow. Tell your family and friends about the show. Hopefully you're getting a lot out of it. Um, thank you again. God bless. See you tomorrow. You've been listening to The Mortgage Update with Dan Frio. For over 10 years, Dan has been helping AM1160 listeners. With so many companies to choose from and hundreds of loan options, the mortgage process can be confusing and costly. Be sure to listen each day for Dan and learn the difference between FHA, VA, and conventional loans. You'll also learn how to negotiate lower interest rates and fees, as well as steps to buying your first home and whether refinancing makes sense. 